So today we are focusing on the reducing balance method and we will see how reducing balance method is different from the straight line method, right? So I'm taking one example. So here cost and book value, depreciation and closing book value. I, I am preparing one table. So I have prepared these columns and uh, we will see First, we will see calculation of depreciation under straight line method, right? Straight line method. Suppose in the question they have told that you need to depreciate the asset at the rate of 10% of cost. What word they have used? Cost word. Okay, you need to focus on word of cost. They yeah. told this, right? So see how I am going to calculate the depreciation under the straight line method. Let's say um, and the life of the asset is let's say five years. So one, two, three, four, five years. Okay. And, uh, and in the first year, the cost, when I brought the asset, the cost is how much? 10,000. 10, okay, now depreciation I have to calculate. So what is the rate given in the question? 10% of the cost, right? So what is the cost? 10,000, isn't it? And it's 10% I have to take. So what will be the depreciation amount? $1,000. Isn't it? Yeah, 10,000. 10, yeah. How I calculated? See, 10,000 is the cost, right? And it's 10% I have to take. Isn't it? Yeah. It will come 1,000. Got it? Now, closing book value will be what? This closing cost book value minus 9, depreciation. Isn't it? Cost minus depreciation, right? So, it will be 9,000. It will be 9,000. Till you are understood? Yes. Now, same 9,000 will become opening book value for the next year. Yes or not? Yeah. Yeah. Now, depreciation again for the second year, how much? 10% of cost they are asking, na? So, it's going to be 10, uh, 9,000 times 10%, which is 9. No, no, no. Cost is how much? 9,000 is not the cost. 9,000 is the book value now. But they are asking what? 10% of cost. So, cost oh. is the static so figure, right? So it is still it will come how much thousand only no ten percent of ten thousand. Yeah. Right. So what will be the closing book value? Nine thousand minus thousand, right? Eight thousand. Eight thousand. Now this eight thousand will become opening book value for the next year, isn't it? Yep. Closing book value will be the opening book value for the next year. Got it? Okay. Now again depreciation will come thousand only because we are following a straight line method, right? Yeah. So every year amount of depreciation will be same only. Now what will be the closing book value? 8,000 minus 7. Uh, sorry, so 1,000. 7,000. 7, now 7,000 will be the opening book value for the next year. Again depreciation 7,000. Yeah. So closing book value will be 7 minus 1. So closing book value will be 7,000 minus 1,000. So it will come 6,000, right? Now, again, opening book value is 6. Again, depreciation is same amount only. And the closing book value will come 5,000. Tell me understood? Yeah. Now, same calculation we will do under reducing balance method. And I will tell you how it is different. Same table we will prepare. This is the table for depreciation. But this time method is what? Reducing balance method. Reducing yeah. balance method. So in reducing balance method, they will say, they will give the percentage rate, but not of cost, 10% of book value. 10% of book value. Understood the difference? Yeah. Under a straight line method, the rate will be based on cost, right? But under reducing balance method, what will happen? The rate rate of depreciation will be based on what? Book value. Clear? Mm -hmm. So what is the book value in the first year? 10,000 initially cost. Yeah. 
first it I brought so book will is that only beginning date so depreciation yeah. 10,000 and it's 10 percent in just a minute mm -hmm. 10,000 and it's 10 percent will be how much 1,000 so closing book value will be how much 9,000 Nine. so closing book value will become opening book value for the next year now this 10 yeah. percent we have to apply on book value now book value is not 10,000 what is the book value now 9,000. It will be 900. 900. The, so, closing book value will be 9,000 minus 900. 8,100. 8,100. Now, 8,100 will become the opening book value. Mm -hmm. It's 10% 10 will be 810. And closing book value will be 8,100 minus 810. So, it will come 7 to 90. Now, 7290 will be the opening book value, 10% of that. 729, closing book value will be this much, 6561. Yeah. Now, same will be the opening book value for the next year. 10% mm -hmm. of this will be this much, 6, yeah. uh, let me round it off, 656 six only, let me write. So, closing book value will be $5,905, right? Mm -hmm. Now, can you tell me what is the difference between both the methods? So, in the first method, we use 10% uh, of cost. So, depreciation is same throughout. Mm -hmm. But then, in, in reducing balance, it's not the same. It's decreasing. Yeah, then, that's why, that's why it is, the name is what? Reducing. Right. Every year amount of depreciation is happening what? Different. Reducing. It is reducing. Right? Yeah. But here every yeah. year amount of depreciation is? Same. Same. So this is the difference. Okay. Right. And uh, actually reducing balance method is the more practical method. Because when every year asset value is decreasing, every year asset value is increasing or decreasing? Decreasing. So, how come amount of depreciation will be same? Yeah. So, when value is decreasing, so amount of depreciation should also keep on decreasing, right? Right. So, this is only possible in which method? Reducing balance. Reducing balance. That's why reducing balance method is more practical and more acceptable. Isn't it? Yeah. So, I hope understood the difference. 